When you're doing things on your own, it's easy to feel insignificant, it's easy to feel unheard. But once you are part of a collective, when there are so many people saying the same thing, it becomes very hard to ignore. Amanda Ratmobi's mission is really to turn every cell phone into a democracy building tool. We do this so that those most affected by injustice, low-income black women, can take action on issues affecting our lives, no matter where we live or what language we speak. I have grown up in circumstances where you always see the power of the collective in action. My own community was facing a forced eviction by government, and during that period, I got a cell phone. I was suddenly able to coordinate actions in a way I'd never done before. And I think it was really that ability to coordinate action at that scale that led to the idea of Amandla.movi. Amandla means power. It's a chant from back in the apartheid days. And that's what Amandla is about, building people power. Low-income black women are disproportionately affected by all injustice. The thing is, as primary caregivers, women are holding so many families and communities together. By enabling this community to take action, you are helping the households in which they exist and the communities in which they are. The majority of South African households have access to a cell phone. That's why we decided on using mobile technology as our tool of choice. Some of the big things that we see people working on, I think this year there's been a big push towards economic justice. This is in a country in which 54% live in poverty. Gender-based violence has also been a huge, huge campaign for us. I just completely believe that we have to see the world beyond our national borders. You are part of something much bigger than the territory in which you reside. What's your place in that bigger scheme of things? My name's Koketsu Moyoti and I am a global citizen. Mm -hmm.